All right, guys. So if you watched my video from a few days ago, I pulled an, a box out of the incubator full of ball python eggs, and I cut them open, and I had one albino pied come out of that clutch. And we had three other snakes that weren't quite ready to come out of the egg, and we kind of took a little peek, and we couldn't quite see what they were. They're definitely albinos, <laughs> but we just didn't know if they were albino pieds. And today, I'm going to take a look at those same snakes and it's it's been three days we cut the eggs and i can almost guarantee after three eggs uh, three days they will be out of the eggs so <laughs> this is kind of my my setup here and i just pulled this box out of the incubator so i should have three baby snakes in here out of the eggs <laughs> i'm going to set this camera up on the tripod so we can take a look at it then I'll use my probe kit and gel to figure out the males and females and make a label, set them up with my hatchling rack and uh, basically I just use the, the scissors to cut my label to size and that's, that's pretty exciting. I'm hoping there's only two possibilities. We'll either get albino head pieds or albino pieds. So let's take a look at what we have. Alright, so this is it. The unveiling of my albino pied clutch. I'm hoping for at least one more female albino pied. Let's take a look at what we have here. Here, 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 here. Ooh. Well, not so good odds from what I see so far. So, <laughs> I mean, these are beautiful snakes. Um, they don't look like they're albino pies which is a bummer it looks like an albino an albino and another albino <laughs> so three albinos no albino pies <laughs> this time so uh, hmm so I guess that was pretty good um, so these will be for sale at the <laughs> at one of the coming shows if you're interested in some albino head pods. So let's pull these out of here and go ahead and see which ones are males and which ones are females. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probe this guy and figure out if it's a male or a female. So these ball pythons take the smallest little probe with a little lubricating jelly here and you basically just put it right in the the pocket in the tail here and sometimes you just kinda have to wait for them to relax a little bit this one seems pretty tense And this one is definitely a female. Nice female albino, 100% head pine. Very nice. Okay, so here is the second snake. And we'll take a look at this guy. This is a really, really, so this is a high contrast albino. The female was really high contrast. So, uh... We'll take a look at this guy and uh, see what we can see. So this one's a little bit squirrely. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, I would say. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. This one. <laughs> This one is definitely a male. <laughs> that one way, way in there. Very, very nice male albino. 100% head pied and a high contrast too. Look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the third hatchling here. And I'm uh, kind of doing the, <laughs> the probe technique on live online so you can kind of see um, kind of how it goes <clears throat> some of them are 
Some of them are fairly easy. Some of them are a little bit tougher. I'd say so far these are have been really easy. So basically, what I do is I, I push it in just gently until it stops, and then I do it again and again and again <laughs> just to make sure that this is definitely <laughs> a female. <laughs> so two females and a male, not bad. If you're looking for the Albino Pied Project, and you buy all three, you'll have pretty good odds um, uh, hitting it with. Uh, it'd be it'd be a good trio to pick up <laughs> if you're if you're in the market for albino pieds, which they're holding their price pretty good. Albino pieds. Okay, so this is kind of the the setup for my tub here. Basically, I use these uh, ARS uh, 1065 series tubs. And uh, I use this sphagnum moss. Uh, if you watch my other videos, I just kind of came up with it. <laughs> and I put it in a netting just for extra humidity. And uh, I use three layers of the selectasized paper towels. And the little deli cup fits right in the, uh, the pre-made uh, deli cup holder. And I fill it about three quarters with water. And uh, put it over here in my hatchling rack, which is <laughs> pretty much uh, almost completely full here. Getting down to the end of the season, down at the very bottom. And then I label it with a label maker and magnetic tape. This one is uh, 18 for 2018, C13 for th my 13th clutch of ball pythons, <laughs> F for female, and albino 100% het pied. So if you're looking for some albinos 100% het pieds, these may or may not be ready <laughs> by the Denver Repticon here in about six weeks which is um, October, uh, but three weeks after that, I'm guessing they will definitely be ready um, for the reptilian nation. And actually I actually have one more clutch of ball python eggs, and it was a straight albino female crossed with my albino pied, visual male. So all those babies will actually be albino, 100% head pied, and I think I have maybe seven eggs in there, so that'll bring me up to like maybe 10 albino, 100% head pied. So you'll have quite a bit to choose from. I'm thinking probably at that last show this year. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.